So my name's Jimmy Croft, and I also go by Dangerich. I'm Evie Lola Mini, and I'm also Neptune. And the exhibition here is called Dangerich and Neptune. We're an artistic duo, and we make surreal films, short films, and paintings, and we just do a bit of everything and merge them together. And our work focuses predominantly on justice, freedom of expression, and, uh, and everything, playfulness. It can be anything. So that's what we're all about, and this space just aims to uh, immerse the viewer and act as a form of escapism, because I think it's nice to walk into a different world and see things from a different perspective. talking about them is the reason that I do them because I'm not good at talking so I paint instead and that's how I communicate and I'm most suited to communicate and feel most comfortable rather than using words so it's hard to talk about them because I'd rather paint them or draw them than talk about them because they're from other places of the mind that you don't talk from unless you're able to. Life today. A world of bees stuck sucking from animatronic trees and fake flowers. It was a nice trip, but now I want to go back. Wild wings hypnotized by wise guys, all cool and improper, foolish know-it-alls. There is a mist between what I believe I am breathing and what really exists. I'm an animal, still eating honey, thinking I am held by subtle rippled water. There crumbles a sort of sick sweetness too, and I wade, sort of bemused, sort of compelled, but no short of spells for the turning of the clog I believe I revolve in. So there's more important things in the drawing than how technical they are. They wouldn't be as free or colourful. And quite mature things come out of them that are more to do with just how life is, rather than making something look perfect because things aren't really perfect, so why pretend that they are? I love Evie's style, and I especially love all of the emotions that you can pick out of the work, or you feel. Every face and creature that she draws, you can look into their eyes and just go, geez, I wonder what on earth they're doing, what they're thinking. And you know it's not a real person, but it's a real person on the paper. And they're also very bold. Evie's really great with colour. And Evie also can work in any medium that she's given. When people come in to see our paintings, I don't want them to feel any way. However they feel, that's how they're meant to feel. And everyone has very different responses. And the thing about our work is I think people... Some people don't understand it at all, and other people find what they need to see in that moment. They might see a phrase or a word or a piece of imagery that they find really funny or relate to in some way. So I think the humanity in our work is kind of what's most important. I like no nonsense, and I think that kids are good at doing that. I think that we think quite a lot about what we say and maybe we think too much sometimes and then it can get really distorted and we forget the things that matter.
kind of vibe off each other's energy. And even if it's something we've done individually, the other one's very much in the energy, in the work. If one of us isn't particularly confident at the time, we'll push each other and just help each other out a lot. What's your favourite thing about me? Do I know you? No. Uh, well, I don't really know who you are. Give me one good reason. Give me one good thing about myself, because right now, I've no reason to believe in myself. Um, I guess I really like your hair, and um, your t-shirt looks cool. Oh, and I, I kind of think it's cool your bare feet right now. Don't, talk, don't look at my feet. Oh, okay, is that bad? bad? Yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. How bad? Really bad. It sounds bad. We've always been interested in people and reactions and I find that putting people on the spot is quite funny and lots of our work does play with reaction and when people see our painting sometimes they don't know how to feel or if they're allowed to laugh and it's the same with our films as well and we we don't hold back, do we, in our films, they are surreal. But I think the um, surreal element of our work is just kind of like amped up reality. There's nothing, there's nothing unreal about our work. <laughs>